Hey everyone, my name is Alex Mamsby. Today I want to go through some Connectways RMM actually and take a look at some of the new features that they have, which is actually super helpful um, when it comes to like setting custom EDFs or things like that. But here's what we can do in terms of scripting and then utilizing basically the script output to further our automation. So let's take a look. So I have my machine pulled up here. And if I pull the documentation from ConnectWise RMM, there's actually a, or ConnectWise command as well. The PowerShell output is considered just percent output uh, percent, just like it is an automate as a system variable. So we can use that when we run a PowerShell command. We can use that in a PowerShell command here to basically set that or utilize that or trigger something else from here. So what I've done is I've thrown together a quick script, nothing fancy at all. But if I come in here and I look for Alex's EDF, so what I've done in here is I've just utilized the script editor so that I can break it down uh, very simplistic in what I'm doing. And the nice thing about here is I can do if then else uh, basically at each line. So drastically improvement uh, upon the automation system. But what I've done in here is just write a simple PowerShell script. You don't have to know exactly what this is doing, but the shorthand is that I'm grabbing the OS version. I'm running a regex pattern to remove basically the, the build number, like the table style, and then just grabbing the last, what is it, 10 digits or 16 digits of the actual version. And so that's all I've got there inside my script log. I am just outputting that exact message. So whatever the script says, just dump it instead of otherwise it would just say script succeeded. So keep that in mind. This is helpful to basically read what the actual script ran. And then in the last thing here, I have a workstation OS field, uh, basically in every machine. And I'm just outputting that same output to that EDF and that output, uh, that e custom field is a string variable. So what I can do is if I come back into my devices here and I'll hit abandon because I didn't change anything, open up my machine and I did run this once, but what we can do is come in here and if I search for my EDF, I can say run now and it does trigger. It takes maybe a minute or two. I think when you use the editor, it does take some extra time compared to just running PowerShell direct, which is fine. It does, give that two way automation, just like automate where it does send and receive in between each step of the script. This is what that looks like. It will say script succeeded and it will spit out the script log. So that's super handy. This is what I wanted to see. And if done correctly, when once this is completed and if I keep selecting automation, it does kind of a soft refresh here or keep clicking on the script. Once that is complete and it says script succeeded again, then when I come over to custom fields here, this workstation OS is currently empty and it was edited by me just moments ago. And once that script completes, I should see this uh, with that 10.0.22,000 uh, number. And then I also should see modified by, and this is the script ID of that machine. So that gives you an idea of who actually modified it versus the system, or I should say versus the system versus a user. So if I come into automation here, script success, script succeeded, dumped my version number in here, come back to custom fields, there it is. And now I can see this is the script ID that ran. This is like an internal script ID, so it's not something uh, currently accessible. And then it did update shortly after the call here. Thanks for watching. We post a new video every week to share our knowledge on Automate. To learn more about what we do, please visit proveltech.com. There's a link in the video description below.